Hello and thank you for watching 2carpros.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the rear brake pads and brake rotor on a 2005 to 2010 Volkswagen Jetta. Let's start with suspending the rear end on level ground, then using a standard screwdriver to remove the hubcap. Then, using an appropriate size metric socket wrench, remove the lug nuts allowing you to remove the rear tire from the vehicle. Using a 16mm wrench and then a 13mm socket, remove the brake caliper slide bolts. After removing the two brake caliper slide bolts, remove the brake caliper from the brake assembly. Using a standard screwdriver, remove the old brake pads from the brake caliper mounting bracket. Using the appropriate size 12 point Torx, remove the two brake caliper mounting bracket bolts allowing you to remove the brake caliper mounting bracket. Using the appropriate size Torx, remove the hardware holding the rotor to the hub. Using a hammer, shock the rotor into loosening, then remove the brake rotor from the wheel hub. Our next step is to use a brake caliper compression tool, using the appropriate size adapter for a brake piston. Install the brake caliper compression tool, then proceed to recessing the brake piston back into the caliper. Once you are done recessing the brake piston back into the brake caliper, remove the brake caliper compression tool. After removing the brake caliper compression tool, inspect the brake piston, making sure the indicated dimples are in the same spot as they were before. We like to compare our new brake rotor to our old brake rotor to be sure a proper install. Using breaker carb cleaner and an old chop towel, clean the surface in which the brake pads will be mating to the brake rotor. Clean the surface in which the brake rotor will be mounting to. Install the new brake rotor to the wheel hub, 
and then install and tighten the mounting hardware screw you removed from before using the appropriate size Torx. Torquing the hardware screw to factory specifications. We like to compare our new brake pads to our old brake pads to be sure a proper install. Our next step is to remove the brake caliper slides from the brake caliper mounting bracket, then cleaning the slides and greasing the slides with the provided grease from our brake set. If your brake set did not come with the provided grease, you can also use silicone brake lubricant to do this process. Once you are done greasing the slides, install the slides back into the brake caliper mounting bracket. Using a standard screwdriver, remove the old brake pad retainer clips, and then install the new brake pad retainer clips that came with the brake pad set. Install the brake caliper mounting bracket back to the brake assembly using the two 12-point Torx you removed from before, torquing the appropriate size Torx to factory specifications. Once you are done torquing the 12-point Torx to factory specifications, install the new brake pads to the brake caliper mounting bracket, and then install the brake caliper to the brake caliper mounting bracket using the 13mm brake caliper slide bolts you removed from before torquing them to factory specifications. Once you are done tightening the brake caliper slide bolts, it's time to reinstall the wheel back to the vehicle. First hand tighten the lug nuts to avoid cross threading. Then tighten the lug nuts in a cross pattern formation, torquing the wheel lug nuts to factory specifications. Then install the hubcap back to the rim. When doing this type of brake job, you will need to repeat this process with the e-brake to reset the e-brake before operating the vehicle. Also before operating the vehicle, you will need to press down on the brake pedal slowly, then release the brake pedal slowly, repeating this process until you find what is called brake pressure, then the vehicle is safe to drive. Please click our subscribe button and like us on Facebook. Thank you for watching 2carpros.com.